Hi there, today I'm going to share you the story of a serial killer called Sainand Mohan who got arrested in 2009. Entire India looked at him during his arrest. So we're gonna see where was he from, what he was doing, what made him to get into serial killing and uh, how he got arrested. Mohan actual name was Bhaskara. He was from Kanaya where he completed his secondary education and uh, he has a 23 years of experience in teaching. He was a teacher in primary schools. He teaches for math, science and English. He was, he was married thrice and he was living with his two wives even before the arrest. So Mohan was in jail in early 2000 for an attempt murder case where he pushed a woman in Netravati river and later she was rescued by the local fishermen. When he was in jail, he met a person who was a goldsmith and he educated him that he was Sinead can kill a person instantly. As soon as he returned from the jail, he went and approached a chemical dealer called Abdul and he introduced himself that he is a goldsmith and he is looking for a Sinead just to polish the golds. So Abdul trusted his words and he started supplying the Sinaids to him till 2009. So how did the uh, police arrested him? There was a complaint lodged in Bantwal police uh, station uh, where a woman of 22 year old was missing from June 16. So this woman was from high community background and uh, her parents actually filed a complaint that she has eloped with a Muslim guy because in that region there was a dispute which was going on, love jihad, where uh, angst, Muslim youngsters are converting the women into their religion in the called uh, relationship. So more than 150 uh, people of Anita community people approach police station and they threaten the police if your people are not taking the action we will burn the police station so police understood the seriousness and they requested the people to give us uh, give us some time so that we can uh, find out the case so the police started investigating so police got to know that uh, call records of Anita's landline she used to get a call in the late nights from one particular number and she used to talk for hours together when they checked out whose number is that, it was registered in the name of Sridhar who is from Madikeri. When they approached Sridhar, they got to know that this number was using by his sister called Kaveri and she was missing from past 6 months. So when they investigated Kaveri's uh, call records, they got to know she was also getting called in the late nights from one particular number and that number was registered in women name so that is uh, Pushpa and she was from Kasakut when they approached Kasakut they got to know that she was missing from past one year and she was also getting the call in the late night and it was from another woman called Vinata and so on so investigation was going on parallelly and they got a message uh, saying that Kaveri's number is turned on three minutes before in a place called Tirakate when they traced Kaveri's number they got to know that the uh, this phone was using by a small boy called Danush and when they asked him so who how did you get the number on the phone he told his phone was using by his uncle now uh, the police got to know that he is a serial killer when police arrested Mohan during the investigation he co they got to know that he has killed 32 women so what he do is that like his targets are very clear that he chooses the women who are from lower middle class and middle class family so he gives them the assurance that he'll be not taking any dowry and he will be marrying them and he asked as a woman to take some cash and jewelry for the survival for next few days because uh, they'll be going out of the town where they are staying so Mohan take all the women uh, far from their town like Mandia, Bangalore and uh, Madikeri like that and he finds the lodge which is very close to the uh, bus depots basically where the government buses comes and uh, stays there so during the night he has an intercourse with the women and the very next morning he asks the women to keep all the jewelries and the cash in the home uh, in the in the room for the safety purpose and he takes the women uh, to the public bus stop and he gives them the tablet which is filled with sinet called uh, birth pill he tells them you know like last night we had unprotected sex and now we cannot have the child because we're going to start our life and it is a new city and it'll take for us to be financially strong so women trust his words and they go into the washroom and takes the tablet as soon as the woman uh, rushes to the washroom so he goes to the hotel he vacates the room and he takes all the cash and the jewelry which women bought and he returns to the village so he survives with that uh, money and the jewelry for three to four months and in the meantime he finds out his next target so this is what he was doing for all the women when the police produced him in the court you know so court people asked him so do you want uh, advocate we will arrange it for you so he denied it you know i don't know how effective uh, the advocate will be fighting for my case so i myself will uh, fight for this case so now mohan is actually fighting and he's saying that all the women were coincident that uh, 
he he refused to marry them so they took the senate it is so foolish right he just fooling around the people now so these are the informations which i wanted to share it with you people please give your feedback in the comment section about this particular topic and what you think about our government about that person and if you like my video please give a thumbs up and if you want me to talk on any particular topic please mention it in the comment section and kindly subscribe to my youtube channel i'll be posting two videos in a week having said that this is joshua jeremy signing off until i meet you in the next episode do not forget your roots and your heritage where you came from good day